Hi everybody, Rosa here to present to you our Creating the Crafty Life Country Garden Theme um, YouTube hop that we're having this week. This hop is going to be running from May 26th to June 1st, which is today. Um, so uh, we are having a lineup of wonderful, creative, talented women from, um, C from Creating the Crafty Life, CCL. Um, we do have a lineup of seven women. Um, I'm going to put the links to um, all their uh, links to all their channels below. Um, the first one's going to be Misty. You could just go straight to Misty and then just from there you could go on one by one and watch all the beautiful creations that these ladies are going to be creating. Um, this hop is actually, we're, we actually have a grand prize uh, sponsored by um, MB Treasurista and Lindy Stamp Gang. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Lindy Stamp Gang is actually sponsoring two different color sets. Um, I think uh, uh, one is the French Country and the other one is the Autumn Leaves. Um, so there's going to be a great pr prize for this hop. Um, also, yeah, I think each individual girl um, um, is also going to give their own little candy away. I'm actually, go I am going to give something away. Um, how I make these beautiful um, craft foam dolls uh, that I decided to use, incorporate for this hop. I'm actually going to be giving away one. Um, the one that I'm going to be giving away is going to be a pen doll, a Fofu pen. Um, I'm going to show you the picture now uh, so you can see because I don't have one made and I don't, want ha I don't have one on hand right now. So I'm going to just pause this real quick so you can see the picture and then we'll be right back. Okay, so that was the picture of what you're going to be receiving if you actually, um, when I pick the winner for my personal uh, candy giveaway, uh, all you got to do is just be a subscriber to all of our channels and just uh, um, comment below in all of our videos to be eligible for the grand prize and plus for each individual giveaway that the girls are having. And I just wanted to show you now what I created for this blog hop. Like I mentioned, our theme was the country garden. So I decided to incorporate my doll making with our regular craft making scrapbooking. Um, what I did was that I made a little garden girl um, with her little garden dress. And then um, I made her a little garden hat. And what I did is I made her like if she's standing inside of a garden, about to water her garden. And then what I did is that I added a frame to her little garden and um, that way it looks like she's watering so that way this could be something that displayed anywhere and you, you, you it's like a frame kind of like um, how could I explain it yeah it's like a little frame that you can actually display you could put a, a picture there photo I'm gonna do a close-up so you can see what I'm talking about I made her little water can this little water can is handmade the doll is completely handmade by me these dolls I make them out of I made them out of craft foam and craft balls and her dress is made out of um, is made out of fabric some shimmery butterfly fabrics they, they do have butterflies on them as you can see and I added a whole bunch of beautiful trims and laces I did a double layer on her dress and I used trims on her waist as well and on her sleeves and some flat back pearls for like it looks like on her neckline like if it was a little necklace and then I got this beautiful hat that I found at a local store here and this is what the hat looks like like this it's all plain and then what I did was I just added um, all those yummy flowers and goodies and embellishments that I used on here and then I just put some lace trim all the way around and some um, regular floral trim and then these are these little, little leaves that I actually have in my stash it's like an, a leaf applique that I added there and then these flowers are from a lot of these flowers are from Wild Worker Crafts that I used and some embellishments that I had in my stash and this is her cute adorable little face as you can see here and then um, as I go down, like I said, this little water can that I handmade, like if she's holding it. And that's her standing in the little garden. I even added a little fence in the back. This fence is handmade with some of those um, sticks that they sell in the craft um, section of the stores. And, you know, they're like kind of like the popsicle sticks. But these are a little thinner. And I just cut them up, measured them, and then just put them there. And left them this color because I felt like this color looked more country-like than just coloring it in white and stuff. And then I added the frame, as you can see here, and actually the garden starts from the frame and it comes all the way down in front of her. 
And what I did is I added a pocket so that way the um, the all the embellishments in the and the flowers would not interfere with the placement of your picture. And I added two um, metal corner embellishments here, and they also do not interfere with the placement of a, a photo. We did have to add to our project. Um, a tag so let me just show you real quick I did add a tag it's a little because it's really in there I added this beautiful tag on here and the paper line that I used was from die cuts with the view let me just get the pack out here the butterfly garden store stack as you can see here this is a stack that I used to use for the paper for the frame and for the tag and I used this one because look it has the butterfly and has all the flowers uh, to me, Country Garden has to do with just that. It's just, you know, a garden full of flowers and fences and butterflies and little birds and insects here and there. And that's exactly what I did here. I try to give that a look and I try to go with the spring color, how we're in the springtime. So I added um, some butterfly. I had some, a butter, some insect flatback buttons of insects and stuff like that in my stash and I added this little butterfly here and this butterfly here and you can see here I even added a little cricket right there it looks like it's just you know popping out and then for the bottom what I did is I added some of that sheet moss that they sell um, that's preserved and I added it all the way around even the back and everything and in the bottom I just added this beautiful lilac lace trim and it's just flat back pearls on here uh, so yeah this is my project that I used for our YouTube hop I hope you like her um, she I just adore this cute little um, this cute little doll like I said if you want to watch more of the creations that the girls in our lineup made all you got to do is go to the bottom to the description box below and just click on the links to every single girl that is uh, joining us in this wonderful YouTube hop. You can tell that I'm in the country because you can hear the roosters in the background. So that's helping a little bit with this hop. So guys, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Don't forget to hop and enjoy watching these beautiful creations. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. God bless. Bye bye.